Hey, Rob here for Quadratech. Today we're checking out the Rough Country 3.5 inch suspension for the 20 newer Jeep Gladiator JT. Rough Country has designed this lift kit to be a 100% bolt on kit, making your install extremely easy. And with this kit, you'll be able to run up to a 37 inch tall tire on your Gladiator, giving you those great aggressive looks and improving your Jeep's capability when you're headed off the pavement. Uh, Rough Country had your Jeep's ride and handling in mind when they put this kit together, and they've included their dual rate springs for both the front and the rear axle of the Gladiator, helping to maintain a factory-like ride, whether you're simply traveling down the road or down the trail. They've also included things like your extended sway bar links for both the front and rear axle of the vehicle, extended bump stops for the front axle, and this great heavy duty adjustable track bar to help recenter that front axle after you've installed this lift kit. They've done all this while maintaining a great price point to this suspension, helping to ensure you don't break the bank when you lift your Jeep Gladiator with this three and a half inch kit from Rough Country. Now they've also given you multiple different options for shocks to go with this kit. You can choose from the basic kit, which will simply include some shock extension brackets allowing you to reuse your factory shocks, or you can take this opportunity to upgrade to their N3 nitrogen charge shocks their V2 monotube shock, or Rough Country's top of the line Vertex monotube remote reservoir eight-way adjustable shocks. Why don't we go ahead and get this lift kit installed first, and then we can take a closer look at each of those shock options. Now, even though this kit doesn't include things like new control arms, you wanna be sure that you're going around and loosening all of your control arm bolts, both at the frame and axle side during your install. That's because the factory is using a knurled styled bushing on their suspension components, which effectively lock those bushings in place at the control arm mounts. Well, now that we've changed the ride height of the vehicle, if you don't reset all of those bushings, you're effectively gonna be putting them all under constant tension, which is gonna the, cause them to prematurely wear out. Now, by loosening everything up and waiting to tighten all of the bolts back to factory specifications when the Jeep is back under its own weight on the ground, you're effectively gonna be resetting those bushings to their neutral position with the new ride height, helping to give you great and predictable handling from your suspension, as well as a nice long lifespan from all of your factory components. Now, the first shock that I wanted to check out here on the Jeep is Rough Country's entry-level nitrogen-charged N3 shock. This is a great budget-friendly shock that's gonna give you slightly better performance than your factory shocks would. Features 10-stage variable valving with a chrome-hardened 18-millimeter piston rod, along with a 35-millimeter piston and a 54-millimeter shock body. It's gonna to help to better dissipate heat under high-frequency cycling. It also features a silver finish to these shocks along with natural rubber bushings. Now, if you wanna go a step above the N3 shocks, we can check out the V2 monotube shock. Now this shock is more than just an upgrade. This is a true performance shock for your Gladiator. This monotube shock features an internal floating piston. And what that does is separate the high pressure nitrogen gas from the shock oil. By doing so, it allows the shock to react extremely fast to changes without any chance of cavitation, causing air bubbles to form inside that shock oil, degrading the shock's performance. Now this shock, as you can see, mounts inverted with the body of the shock up nice and high to keep it protected and out of harm's way. Features a high flow 46 millimeter internal piston along with its brushed aluminum finish on the shock body here is going to help to disperse and dissipate heat extremely fast. We also have black anodized accents and end caps along with shock eye mounts down low here on the V2 monotube shock. Now, if you're looking for the ultimate performance shock for your Gladiator, we can check out the Vertex 2.5 eight stage adjustable reservoir shock. Now this is Rough Country's top of the line pinnacle of off-road performance shock. Again, we have a monotube style shock, but with the addition of the external reservoir, it now allows for greater shock capacity. Also, it's going to help to keep that shock running in its optimal temperature range for the highest level of performance. 
As you can see with the Vertex shock, absolutely every component on here has been beefed up. We've got these massive 22 millimeter chrome hardened piston rods along with the large two and a half inch diameter internal piston. The shock features a honed steel alloy body that features a zinc plate finish along with two stages of clear coat. We've got CNC machined aluminum accents like our reservoir clamp here along with shock ends and eye mounts down low. And as I mentioned, this is an adjustable shock. It features eight stages of adjustment. It's gonna allow you to change how you want the shock to perform at each individual corner of your Jeep. So whether you're simply looking for a nice comfortable ride on the road, or maybe you're looking to head off the pavement for some aggressive fun, well, the Vertex shock can handle everything that you're going to throw at it. Why don't we go ahead and get the Jeep down on the ground so we can check out how the suspension looks with a set of 37 inch tires. Well, what do you guys think of the Gladiator now? A set of 37 inch tall mud terrain tires sure does change the entire look and attitude of the Jeep. And a Rough Country three and a half inch suspension allows you to do it with your choice of either shock adapters, those N3 nitrogen shocks, the V2 monotube shocks, or their ultimate in off-road performance shock, that eight-way adjustable 2.5 Vertex Reservoir Shock. Now, if you guys wanna get more information or to purchase a Rough Country three and a half inch suspension for your Jeep Gladiator JT, you can click that info button, head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the lift kit or any of the shocks that I covered today, you can always do this for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And as always, if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon so be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob, I'll see you guys out on the trail.